New York is, without a doubt, one of the greatest cities in the world, with all its amenities such as museums, parks, playgrounds, restaurants, nightclubs, and the list goes on. According to a new report by Move Buddha, New York lost more residents than any other state between April 1, 2020 and July 1, 2021, according to the U.S. Census Bureau population estimates. Over that period, the state lost 319,020 people. New York State's population as of 2020 was 20.2 million, according to the Census Bureau. New York is the fourth most searched state to move out of this year, the company added. That's behind New Jersey, California, and Illinois. But in today's video we will tell you top 10 reasons why everyone leaving New York in 2023. So let's start. Number 1. The weather. While you'll be able to enjoy different seasons in New York, there's also a huge downside to it. Not everyone digs the cold weather, and if you're among this group, you won't enjoy brutal winters. New York is ranked seventh in the most snowfall in the entire country, and winters are usually pretty harsh and difficult to deal with. Number 2. Difficult for raising a family. New York City is difficult for raising a family. While it's not impossible to raise a family here, it is more difficult compared to other more family-friendly cities. New York City can make it difficult to get your kids to school and pick them up using the subway. And it's safe to assume that your kid won't have a swing set in the backyard if you're living in the Big Apple. Plus, crime rates are another thing to consider when you're planning a family, and New York is not among the safest cities in the country. Number 3. Unaffordable housing. According to PropertyShark.com, the median home price in New York City in 2021 is $710,000, with a median price per square foot of $786. It's really high compared to another states that's why most people leave New York. But this doesn't apply to popular neighborhoods, for instance, the median home price in Manhattan is $1 million. And this is a huge problem, but New York is a very developed city and it is counted among smart cities. I have made a video on the 10 smartest cities in the United States, you can watch it by clicking on the i button above. Number 4. The cost of living. Well, we all knew this was coming at some point in the video, as everyone knows that living in New York is expensive. But the info hits different when you understand exactly how pricey it is to live in the Big Apple. For most people, it's just too expensive and not worth it. To give you a better idea, let's look at the info from bestplaces.com. The average cost of living in the United States is 100, while it's 187.2 in New York City. That's why we add this reason to our list. Number 5. High Taxes. New Yorkers will have to say a lot about it, and they probably won't be able to skip a few profanities when asked about taxes. A common reason why people are leaving New York City is that income taxes are incredibly high. If you make $70,000 a year living in New York you will be taxed $11,581. Your average tax rate is 11.67% and your marginal tax rate is 22%. This marginal tax rate means that your immediate additional income will be taxed at this rate. The obnoxiously high tax rate is the seventh highest in the United States. Taxes in New York are causing many people to leave New York. Number 6. The crowds. Moving on to number 6 on the list of reasons why you should move out of New York City, it's the crowds. Considering the size of a city and number of residents, plus so many tourists. The total population of New York in 2023 is 20,448,194. New York State has an overall population density of 421 people per square mile, with an area of 47,126 square miles. If we compare to Wyoming, so the population density of Wyoming is only 6.0 people per square mile, if very low in the front of New York. You'll be hard-pressed to find a space to be alone. If you're the type of person who hates crowds, 
You're probably already thinking of leaving New York City for good. Number 7. Remote Work The seventh reason why you should leave New York City has a lot to do with the coronavirus, and it's the remote work. Many people had to turn to remote work because of the pandemic. As the lockdowns and quarantines continue, companies are embracing work-from-home approaches, some indefinitely. That makes it difficult for most people to organize their working space in already tight New York apartments, making it more convenient to move elsewhere. After all, why would you spend loads of money on renting a tiny place when you can pay the same for great space and work comfortably? Number 8. The Subway The reason number 8 for leaving New York City is dealing with the subway. Most people don't own a car and rely on public transportation, which can be quite difficult if you live in one borough and have to get to another borough for work or other reasons. Number 9. Job Opportunities Number 9 on my list of why you should leave New York City is job opportunities. Before you start typing the comment, it's not about the number of jobs available. New York definitely has many jobs to offer. What I'm talking about is actually the ability to find a well-paid job. If you're looking for a job that pays well or you want to start a business, you'll need so much patience, an incredible CV, and strong connections. And the unemployment is a big factor for move out from New York. Now let's go to our last reason. Number 10. Slower pace of life. When the pressure is on and stakes are high, you're not likely to stop and smell the flowers between chasing your dreams or figuring out the way to pay crazy expensive rent. If you're dreaming about having a garden, spending time in your backyard, wearing flat shoes, and having a slower pace overall, then it's time to move out of New York. On my channel I'll be posting videos about moving from one place to another, moving costs, cities or states that will pay you to move there, and some helpful moving tips. If there's a place or a topic you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to do a video on it. So our today video has been ended, and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel, because I am a new struggling YouTuber I need your supports. And if you can also share my channel with your relatives and friends, Thanks for watching.